morning you guys it's well done come on I set up this thing on my watch so it will not light up unless I tap it and now it doesn't want to work so it's 2 38 at the moment and I've been up since 2 uh, in the recent two days but no, this is the third day. I was just so freaking tired in the evening or in the afternoon that I took a two hour nap and uh, I went to bed around seven. And yesterday I actually felt like so tired at five. I was like, no way, I could just, just cannot go to sleep at 5 p.m. So I stretched it out all the way till seven, but this is the result. I woke up at two and I'm wide awake. I'm not even sleepy anymore, so. Anywho, welcome back to YouTube. Uh, I guess I will just go ahead and start my morning. I tried to make myself go back to sleep, but it was impossible. Mm. Actually, I forgot to update you on, guys, on that, guys. Um, for those of you who are new here, I will just do a really quick update. Uh, I started 2022 in January uh, with my coach who I've been uh, working with for all of my, almost all of my competing um, time. Um, and uh, so I started with him uh, 2022 January for potentially stepping on stage in 2022, but that didn't happen for several re reasons. Anyways, in uh, August or until August last year, I lost uh, 15 kilos, which is 30 pounds, about 30 pounds. And then in August, uh, we took a break from just dieting and uh, also pretty much working together as well, um, all the way till December. So from August um, till December, I gained back uh, four kilos. Just, well, I was kind of watching my diet, but also not living life. And uh, let me set you guys down here. Okay, this is not gonna work. Anyways, <laughs> I just wanted to get comfy. So, um, yeah, so this 2022 December, I started working with again for uh, stepping on stage in 2023. So since December till today, actually, I lost those four kilos which is not a lot but we were not really strict and it didn't feel like being on prep or being uh deep in deficit because i was not but just last year uh last week we changed uh my macros so dropped a little bit on low days my high carb days are still uh 23,000 2300 <laughs> calories uh with 300 grams of carbs on those days so today I hit a new low weight in, so I actually 0 0.1 um, kilo less than I my lowest weight was in 2022 before I stopped working with him. So yay, <laughs> that's really exciting. I'm, I'm really happy about it because um, that's exactly the reason why we dropped the carbs a little bit because my weight was um, just stagnant. So yeah, that's the most exciting news of the day. I'm really happy about it. So currently I'm 75 kilos, which is uh, 165 pounds. And that was our goal till the end of February, which we achieved. <laughs> so yeah, um, I will put some pictures up here uh, for you guys to see, which I took, actually, I don't even know. I took them on Tuesday and today is Saturday. So yeah, I will go ahead and um, drink my coffee. I will read a little bit and also I've been doing like a little rice cake with peanut butter and um, bananas uh, with my coffee in the morning. And here is Luna with me too. <laughs> yeah, she's always here with me every morning. Okay, guys, I'm, I stopped trembling and get my day going. I'm 
like filling him up with food and it helps his body building. So I don't know if anyone's ever had this, but it's the what is it called? It's okay. This might sound a little weird. Um, trying to show you guys. Um, this is literally just uh, pickle juice. <laughs> Cheers. And it also might sound gross, but if you like pickles, you have no problem. I get drinking it. So, yep. Uh, I will go and step at the grocery store for a monster and for my sneakers bar and then head to the gym to meet Kati and train with her. protein what's sugar no I want the sugar now I need the sugar um, before training but I just wanted to get um, just one piece well anyways these are actually some Romanian chocolates and um, I really enjoy them but whoever um, I met in Romania and I told them these are one of my favorite Romanian chocolates. They're like, oh my gosh, it's just terrible. <laughs> but uh, it's actually just like milk chocolate with some rum cream inside. Or there's some different ones with cherry, white chocolate with caramel. But yeah, definitely the original one is my favorite. Of course, when you try to do something with one hand. Okay, now we got everything we need. I actually ended up finding the single sneakers at the cashier. Um, so I got the apple, the energy drink, and the only reason I came to this store is to get bagels. Because as far as I know, it's the only store that carries bagels. And what do you think? Did they have bagels? Of course not. Best chocolate on the earth.
so hope you guys enjoyed the um, training session this is exactly why I bought this apple because I will eat it now after training I have to run to the grocery store to pick up a few stuff which I will show you as well and um, yeah I will try to make something nice tonight or today this afternoon because uh, yeah it's my high carb, high carb day and I want to take advantage of it but I remember myself during the week um, trying to find some fun stuff for uh, my high carb days which is uh, Wednesday and Saturday at the moment and now that Saturday is here I I don't know like I just can't remember what was it so it is what it is uh, maybe I find something in the store if not I will just have extra portion of potatoes <laughs> and that's it but yeah I definitely need some chicken breast and some other stuff as well so I'll see you at the grocery store <laughs> So I'm home. Uh, I actually ate two rice cakes with peanut butter and banana, which I forgot to film, but it's pretty much the same thing that I had in the morning with my coffee. And now I'm just making some chicken. No, well, I'm making some chicken. I was about to add dry dill before I picked up the camera. I've been really enjoying um, cooking my chicken with dill weed. It gives it somehow a sweet taste I don't know I really enjoy it and then I already made some air fried potatoes they're pretty well done but this is how I like them like them so yeah I will have potatoes with some chicken and some cheese and um, yeah that will be it for now and then I probably still have some macros left which I will finish up the day later or finish them up later um yeah i wanted to really quickly just touch base on my goals at the moment so now that i hit a new um lowest weight then i'm pretty fired up so yeah i see the light at the end of the tunnel um for some reason for a certain amount of time i was um or my weight was a little bit stuck um at 76 77 kilos so now it's 75 which is so exciting for me so if everything goes as planned i will be on stage in 25 weeks which is plenty of time but bear in mind i still have about 15 kilos to lose so yeah that's the plan for now but it's not um set in stones so we shall see how everything goes i will close this cabinet because i know it might trigger any some of you but yeah so uh the show which i would love to do and currently prepping for is on the 25th of august in uh, cluj napoca in the place where i live now so that would be really nice to step on stage there and have uh, some of my friends there to support me and spend the whole time with them so yeah i will go ahead and finish up the chicken before it gets burned because i'm so good at burning <laughs> stuff um and yeah i will show you the finished product i decided to add some lettuce under the the whole thing because halt <laughs> some vegetables and i just wanted to tell you to bear in mind that these potatoes before i put them in the air fryer weighed um 500 550 grams and after air frying it's not even 300 grams so just remember uh, whenever you're making vegetables in the air fryer um measure them raw and track them raw because if you measure them later it really the macros are the same so these 300 grams of baked potatoes have the same macros as the 550 grams of raw but there was just a lot of water 
which uh, um, came out during baking. So if you would track it as 300 grams of potatoes, that would be not accurate. So just bear in mind. And uh, yeah, the more crispy you bake them, the more water it will lose. That means it will weigh less. So you can uh, measure potatoes raw and just boil them. So when you boil them, you it will not lose volume. It will just soften pretty much. So after boiling, it's okay to measure. It will be the same weight as raw, but not after baking. And it's the same with other vegetables as well. It really depends how much water it contains and how much that will be equal uh, with the amount of, of uh, weight it loses during cooking. The same applies to chicken. I don't really measure it raw because I always uh, cook in bulk. So I just make a bunch of chicken, like a kilo or two kilos, and keep them in either in the fridge or the freezer. But also, I think there is 20% uh, water in the in the chicken, if I'm not mistaken. But still, so uh, you can uh, track them raw as well. But just make sure you stay consistent with the way uh, you're tracking your food. Because if you, once you track it raw, the other time you track it uh, baked, it will really just make a lot of difference in your macros. Obviously, if you're cutting for life, lifestyle, <laughs> cutting for life, cutting for lifestyle, or trying to like gain some muscles and stuff, it's not gonna be a big of an issue. But especially if you're prepping for a show or a stage or something like, if you want to be the most accurate possible then make sure you choose one way of measuring stuff uh, meat, basically, protein source and just stay consistent with it so yeah, this is what this was just my uh, rant after I, I measured the, the baked potatoes I just wanted to get this out of my head um, yeah, next clip you will see my my lunch or actually it's late lunch okay, so here is the finished product I'm so excited for these potatoes. <laughs> I love potatoes. So, you might have seen if you follow me on Instagram. If you don't, what are you doing? <laughs> Joking. Anyways, but I was gonna say that you might have seen on Instagram that uh, on my low carb days or lower carb days, which are still like 150 grams only daily, so it's not that low. But on uh, lower carb days, I substitute potatoes with uh, butternut squash or kabocha squash. With, that's a really nice one as well. Those are my two favorite squash uh, sources. And um, actually, if I'm not mistaken, 100 potatoes equals to, I think, 75. Of, so the macros from 100 grams of potatoes equals to 150 grams of butternut squash. So basically for the same amount of macros you get um, half time or more or like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so yeah, those are some little tricks that I wanted to uh, tell you and um, I will go ahead and eat this. I also have a big bottle of Coke Zero which usually I finish in a day. I try not to do that but yeah, it's just really nice to have something sweet during the day even though today I could have uh, or actually had like a chocolate bar and stuff but I do like to drink soft drinks which it's not the, the best or the healthiest but oh well this is not a tip for you to have a liter of coke zero every single day or I don't have it every single day but most days so it's still it's not my advice or my tip to do that but if you don't have the macros for something sweet then it's really nice to just have some uh, sweet drink anyways i'll stop talking and go ahead and eat my food okay so i definitely used more salt than <laughs> what i would have liked but well it is what it is i'm still good just a little bit salty but yeah um yeah a lot of clients of mine actually ask me how i prepare my meat because obviously the chicken breast or any other protein source can get boring after a while and uh, i always say and what i use as well it's really just seasoning so you can mix and match any seasonings you'd like um 
in the grocery store you can get like pizza seasoning or I don't even know like burger seasoning or basically anything and uh, you can just use it in ch on chicken but recently this is the the best combo that I, I just discovered dill weed and uh, and salt that's pretty much it and usually I uh, use the same seasoning for a while once I get bored of it or discover a new one I just switch it up. So yeah, that's my tip and then you can also use sauces mm, I used to use sugar-free ketchup. I am not using it at the moment or I don't use it Because I just got like somehow Disgusted by the taste I would say I don't know like it just didn't taste the way I used to remember it. So yeah, uh, but I use light mayonnaise. Obviously you want to check light mayonnaise because I think there are um, five grams of car uh, fat in 20 grams of light mayo so that's almost 50 calories and 20 grams is not a lot so um, yeah light mayo you want to check. You can use mustard. You don't need to track mustard uh, it's really just a trace amount of fat if anything if you use French mustard there is pretty much no calories but some of the the mustards the they they uh, contain some fat um, yeah so that's my other five, five cents or 50 cents I don't even know how you say it <laughs> Sometimes I'm trying to use some English phrases, which um, I just heard somewhere and I'm trying to uh, remember it and it comes out funny. But yeah, if you're new here, obviously you can hear my accent. So no, English is not my first language. I'm from Slovakia and my, my native language, my first language is Hungarian. And I currently live in Romania. So yeah, all over the world. <laughs> but I learned my English... Um, well, I learned English in school as well, but mainly I learned from reading as a kid, reading English articles, books, listening to songs, and then I lived in the States for a while, um, all together almost um, for years. So yeah, that's pretty much how I learned English. And I watch English uh, movies and listen to podcasts in English. So I have a lot of English speaking friends as well just practice <laughs> and yeah and my my job requires me to uh, use English as well so yep that's my history but yeah I, I've been just rambling I really wanted to pick up the camera and now I'm just like talking <laughs> about everything so yep okay bye